Lady Mary Wortley Montague, the unsung hero. When a bacteria, a virus enters our body, it is not recognised, which causes an immune response. This here is a B cell. They develop a memory of these viruses or bacteria. This means that if that virus or bacteria were to enter the body again, our immune system would attack it quicker. This is the science behind how vaccinations work. The vaccination is almost synonymous with Sir Edward Jenner. However, one name you may not be familiar with when it comes to vaccines is Lady Mary Montague. Lady Montague was born on the 15th of May in 1689. She was a well-educated woman, as well as a lady of letters. In 1712, Lady Montague joined her husband in the Ottoman excursion to Istanbul, where she made a revolutionary observation. What she observed we now know as inoculation. At the time, there was a deadly epidemic of smallpox, which killed three out of ten people who contracted it. But Lady Montague noticed that the people of Istanbul had perfectly clear skin. This was no coincidence, so Montague got a writing. In her letter, she wrote that smallpox was harmless in Istanbul, and it was due to people being infected with a small amount of smallpox. Before returning back to England, where smallpox was still very much deadly, Lady Montague had her son deliberately infected. To Montague's delight, the inoculation worked. She then went on to inoculate her three-year-old daughter and had highly respected physicians come to observe her daughter's quick recovery. The physicians were astounded and some even decided to inoculate their own children. The news travelled fast and even Princess Caroline of Wales had her children inoculated. In science, we often credit Edward Jenner with the discovery of inoculation, but Jenner himself was inoculated at a young age with Montague's method, meaning that Jenner built off of Montague's findings. Without Montague's contributions, life itself would not be the same.